This is Christine Isigi. Welcome you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I welcome everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm going to, to, to share with you from the book of John 2, the book of John 2, the book of John 2, verse 13. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Open the book of John 2, verse 13. And my title is called The Evil Magician. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Let's start. Uh, yes, the book of John 2, verse 13 to 17. The book of John. Two, the Bible says, and the Jews Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and they found in the temple those that sold oxen, sheep, and doves, and the chanter of money sitting. And when he had made a scotch of small cords. He dropped them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and pulled out the changes, the changes money and overthrow the, tem the tables. As he said unto them, that soul doves, take these things and as make not my father's house and an house of merchandise, merchandise. The Bible is it said is saying verse sixteen, and he said unto them that sold that sold doves, take these things. Jesus told told those people take these things. Make not my father's house an house of merchandise. 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 Do you understand the meaning of merchandise? Merchandise, they are businessmen who are selling things. So when Jesus was went to the temple and they found those people who are doing business in the house of God. He had to beat them and chase them and, and tell them. Please, unmute your phone. Unmute your phone kindly, please. Unmute your phone. Those with the kids, those with the kids, unmute your, unmute your phone. Your phone. People with the, with the kids, unmute your phone. It is going to be well with you. You don't have to fight the guard, please. If you don't know how to, have, to unmute your phone, there is a place you see the, the, where they put your stick, like killing. You, you press there and then that is immune. I'm, I'm used. I, I'm, you can unmute. Hallelujah. Don't bring distraction. People with the kids, please, you can cooperate. This is very, it's very sensitive. Hallelujah. So Jesus, it is the Passover like today. Tomorrow is Passover. Starting tomorrow is, 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 is Sunday up to, up to Monday. So Jesus, as Jesus went to the church, to the temple of God, to the church of God, and found people selling some stuff. Businessmen were there. And they were selling you can see they were selling doves, they were selling oxen, they were selling cows, 
They were selling beds and the other changers, and they were changing money, money changers. They were doing business in the, in, the, in the house of God. But in the house of God, it doesn't mean really spiritually, it's not the house of God. It means your body. So there were some people who were selling souls of human beings, souls of people. That's why Jesus said, told them, make not my father's house an house of merchandise. Merchandise. Look at your Bible. That word merchandise. Check it and see what that word means. Merchandise means businessmen who are buying and selling. Is that clear? So, I want to tell you that when you are sitting there, in your house or everywhere, there are some people who are doing business about you. They sell your soul. They purchase how much you are cost and you are not aware. That's why you can't have anything because they have taken in everything from you. That's what the work of merchandise. They purchase you. You can stay in one place and you are not doing anything. You work, nothing is happening. So those are the, the, the evil merchandise. They sell souls of, of human beings. They can donate you. You don't know. They purchase you. You, they don't know, you don't know how much they sell you. Your soul is being sold somewhere. That's why Jesus was, was saying you cannot do the children of God like that. Jesus died for you so that you can be free. But here you see there are still people being, 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 sell, being sold, but you don't know. I want you to look in the book of Revelation 18. That this book, when I was reading it, I was shocked to see what the Bible says. Teresa, 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 can you read for us? Sure, Christine. Yes, open the book of Revelation 18, verse 18, verse 18. Okay, so Revelation. 15? No, 18. 18? Yes. Okay, so Revelation 18. 18, start from 11. Start from verse 11. From 11? Yes. Okay. It's a Revelation 18. Yes. Okay. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buys their merchandise anymore. Mm -hmm. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and tine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble mm -hmm. and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves of souls of men. What? And Can you repeat the last one? Sure. And, and, so, and souls of men. Okay, start from number first 13 again. I want you to hear what the Bible is saying. I want the people to hear what the Bible is saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. And the souls of men. Oh, let's talk. Let's talk there. What do you understand there? Let's communicate. Let's take anybody can join and say what do you understand about that scripture? That is English. Please cooperate. Is that at that time that um, it indicates here? Let me just go back here. Start from number 11. What, what is that? It, it, it says. Okay, 
Okay, it says that the merchants of the year shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys their merchandise anymore. So anything that they sell, mm -hmm. whether it be gold, as comes out the even um, big, big goods, cinnamon, odors, ointments, frankincense, even down to the souls of men, they can't even sell anymore. So they talk, they're talking about every kind of inventory known, including souls that they no longer sell. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see there's, there's, there's some people who are selling souls of men. You understand? So, that's why Jesus was against those people. There's no way people can go to the church and, and put these things on the, on the church and start selling. Those spiritually, that is what is happening. So when you are sitting down, when you are, you are, you are, you are at home, or, or anywhere, you, your ways is so locked, you don't know what is going on. There can be a, a, a sell of, of, of everything, of your soul, anything you have. They sell it. Now you don't have anything, even your children. Your children, they can be forced. Don't think that those children who wear clothes like naked, it is their will. Those are the ones who have been sold to the, to the, to the devil. So they are wearing... And those people, when they look at, the, at them, they feel good. They get money. Everything you see is sexy. What, what, what have you? So now, those, those, those merchandise, margin, merchandise, the ones who are doing those business, they are the ones who have sold their business. They are sold of those kids, all those wherever. Even if you see the woman behave like the way she's behaving, it's not her will. It, it, she has been already been sold. They have, they, 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 her, her soul has been sold to the devil. So she come nothing. She can't do anything. You can have certificate degrees, but you have no job. Or you can have a job, but the job can, you, you don't get anything. You are underpaid because of the soul of this merchandise. Once they do that, they enjoy. They they, they say you behave like people look at you. They they think they they, they love at you, but the owner who making money over you is happy. You make somebody rich. That's why you see. Other people are so rich, and when you find out, you check how, how they get their wealth, no, nobody knows. Some people, the thing is, are they selling drugs? What, how did they get rich? Because of these souls of men, souls of, of, of men. So now Jesus was against them. That's why today, today, Thursday, up to Monday, God is going to open the blessings to people. The blessings of God is coming. And everyone who is obedient to this is going to get blessings. God is going to heal so many people. God is going to restore back what you have lost from the enemy. The enemy that has been taking your stuff, what you have lost, God is going to, to bring it to you back. You are going to get everything that you have lost. You, God is going to heal your body. God is going to reunite you with your family. God is going to give you what you've been praying for you've been praying the answer maybe i tell you sometimes prayer request write down your prayer request if you have your prayer request just i will tell you when we are going to pray over it but the other prayer requests we've been praying those prayer requests you've been writing the answer is coming from today up to monday so my, this these five days you need to focus to pray you can pray more than anything else Spend time in prayer, read the word, read that book of John, John do, and read the book of Revelation again. You can read all of them and see the end of it, how it finished, so that you can know by yourself how you can be sold without, being, without your knowledge. When Jesus found those people who were selling in the house, he, he, he told them, let's continue with that book of John 2. And, and see, sister, continue reading. I want you to see something there before I go. I, I go, what I, I, I start doing prophecy. You start, you start from. Oh, okay, so. You, you are John the, chapter 2? Yes. Oh, okay. And starting at verse 16? Yes. All right. And said unto them that sold doves, 
Take these things hence. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and go continue. Yes. And his disciples remembered that it is written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Yes. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Mm -hmm. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, mm -hmm. and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. He take what? When he Can you repeat verse 21? Yes. But he spake of the temple of his body. You see, the temple, you, the temple is your body. You understand? The temple, Jesus was talking, is there? His body is your body. So, you are the temple of God. That's why Jesus was angry with those people what they were doing with the temple of God. That's what the Bible said. The Bible says in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a first Corinthians that you know you are the temple of God. If you destroy the temple of God, God will destroy more. So you are the temple of God. And the book, the Bible says when an evil spirit gets out of a person, it goes back and comes and says, this is my house. So your body, it is the house of the devil. That's why your body, it's in another way, is, is, is the temple of God. You, you are the church. Your body is the church. So that's why we need to take care of that body. We need to take the temple of God. When the enemy comes to sit on your, your body, doing business there, business of putting sickness in your body, taking your wealthy, taking your children, he sits there, and bring their children in your body inside. One is headache. Another one can be high blood pressure. Another one can be uh, uh, mental challenging. All those sickness. And then another one can be can be high blood pressure. Just one person. With the the the, 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 the demon can come in your body and have their children there. One is sitting on high blood pressure. Another one is sitting on a headache. Another one is sitting all those pains you have. Those are the demons sitting in your body and enjoying there, loving there, happy there, and crabbing there. You, you continue with the problem, you continue with the pain, you continue with grinding your teeth, you continue with taking drugs to cool them down. So when you take the drugs, those medication, it is their food. So they said, you take more, more, more. To make you to, to make it as happy because those they cannot heal you they only cool you down you, me i was the doctor described me that i would take the medication the rest of my life so they said that if i stop this medication i will not be well again i have to take them all every time but it, because the medication is it does not heal yeah it, it only cool you down but it does not heal if it is healing, then you can stop not to take them. So now Jesus was against them. Those are the demons who were sitting in the house of God, who were sitting in your temple, and they were manipulating, destroying, selling your souls. So that, that Jesus has to go to die. When he died, he paid all this so that you can be free from this. That's why God is going to restore back all of what you have lost. I have a word for someone that you've been praying. You are, you are, the word that you have been praying, you know that you put your prayer request. You've been praying so much. If you continue praying from today up to Monday, God is going to answer your prayers. I have a word of somebody. You've been selling drugs very private. God is warning you that the drugs you are doing, it's just the grace of God that you have not been caught. God is asking me to tell you that he has good business for you to stop these things you are doing. So God will bless you, will give you idea 
you are so potential you don't know what you have don't sell the drugs you are killing people if you don't stop that drugs it is up to you you will be known and you will be disgraced from today up to monday pray god to give you idea because you are potential you are a business driving you are anything you put your hand it will blow don't fear you ask god to give or call me i will pray for you god to give you idea which business you can do there's somebody is a woman i think it's not from canada i don't know it's from australia i don't know it's from australia you've been having troubles having problem with your mother in law in fact you've been married second two times and every time you you you, you get married you have trouble with your mother in law that's why you end up the relationship god is telling me because i see how sad these women they are it is not them it is you who has a demon that when they see you when this demon see this when this demon see these people they manifest they started coming up like they want to fight now because of that they start hating you they start hate you it's you has a demon the demon that demon when it is coming it is the manifest you start becoming for example you become like mad if nobody is talking to you you just feel angry because of that they, they they start saying no 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 you cannot be a part of their family so you say they don't like you they don't like you god is telling me to tell you you will get delivered. That demon will go. The, 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 the enemy has been put that demon to disgrace you. And you have been going for so many prayers. Even the last time you went to a very powerful prayer. But that nothing is happening to you. Don't disturb yourself. Don't kill yourself. God loves you. And you he is going to restore back. Especially the second marriage that you, 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 you ended recently. God loves you, my sister, and is still going to help you. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. God is showing me somebody. There's a person and there's a man. This man is from Africa. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is showing me things. You know, when I describe them, you know exactly what it is. I was talking with a lady. She called me to pray for her. And I told her her problem. And she was like, she can't remember. But eventually she remember the person I was describing to. So you, the man, hear the word of God. Focus God. Don't mix with duties. Don't go to with doctors. Stop going to witch doctors. They cannot help you because you mix this. You say you would try this witch doctors. They call not doctors. You try this, you try. Jesus is the only one who can deliver you. Those people, you, they can take your money and lie to you, but Jesus is able to deliver you. Don't mix Jesus because God hates God. God hates idols. So if you have been going some uh, places to get help today jesus is going to help you those help you get from not doctor they can't help you don't mix god's word is holy jesus christ has paid everything for you take it and have it in jesus name all sick people with the trouble with the, people with the sickness People have been having trouble that that sickness is going to die. God is going to destroy every sickness from your body. The property you have been struggling with, God is going to destroy them. So, if you have been praying, if you pray very well between now and Monday, you are going to get everything that you have been looking for. 
some of you, your life is one to change until everybody will say, wow, what is this? Where did you go? Your life is one to change. Except that what, what makes many, they cannot, their life cannot change is from the book of Jeremiah 7, verse 1. That Jeremiah 7, verse 1, can you go there, my sister, and lead with us? That's what tell me that that Jeremiah 7, verse 1, up to verse 11. Let's look at that book, what the Bible says. That's what is going to hold you not to get what God is saying. But if today you will, find, you will read and understand, then God will help you. Let's go there. My sister, can you read for me? Okay, just to confirm, um, I'm going to see Jeremiah, sorry, what was the chapter? First one, Jeremiah 7, verse 1 to 11. Okay. Okay, Jeremiah 7, verses 1 to 11, it reads, The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house, and proclaim there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all ye of Judah, that enter in at these gates to worship the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Thus ye not in lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. For if ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if ye thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to, to your hurt, then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit, Okay, repeat, repeat, can you repeat the first eight again? Yes. Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. Mm -hmm. Will ye steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk not, sorry, walk after other gods whom ye know not, and come and stand before me in this house? which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations. Mm -hmm. Is this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, saith the Lord. Amen. And behold, Amen. ye trust in lying words that cannot profit you. So what is going to hinder you from getting the blessings of God these five days? is we have to check ourselves and lying we tell ourselves we have really to come total completely from lying as we continue lying cheating it, will, it is not going to profit us that's what the bible says first nine the bible says ye steal murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods who you not who you not know so please read your bible yourself read your bible this jeremiah 7 i gave you from yesterday that is what the prophecy come from so if you steal it's not necessary that you go to steal from people you can be a thief of god you don't give your tithes and offering that is the bible calls you a thief if you steal even time of god you don't go to church. You don't fellowship. That is a thief. You are stealing time that God has given you. Remember, God has given you seven days. He's asking you one day to give him. You don't give God one day. He went as far as saying one hour. Jesus was praying and they prayed for so much. When he came to his disciples, he found them asleep. And they said, you can't even pray even one hour. So if you steal the time of God, you are a thief. God will charge you. That is how God charges people. Yeah? So, if, if you murder, 
Murder is the words you use to other people. You feel angry, you start cursing people. This cursing, cursing, unnecessary curse. Yeah, you become so rebellious. Social murder, you murder, you murder somebody. Yeah, so you commit adultery. This is another serious thing which God has, has you know, this fornication is God Himself supervising. And this is the mouth of God saying, it's, You cannot get excuse for that. If you do that sex or thing, you must patient, you, you must patient yourself. You do adultery, do it, enjoy it, but you will not get any blessings of God. God is a holy God and He doesn't want anything dirty. If you pollute yourself with this, if you love sex so much that you cannot stay without sex, I'm sorry. It is going to be very difficult for you to get any blessings of God. So God is telling me to tell you to clean yourself. That's why you take the Holy Communion to clean anything you. That's why I pray for you, God, to wash you and drink. When you drink, everything will go down and you will not be the same. So now I want to pray for you. I don't want to keep you for long. Tomorrow we continue. So we are going, going to continue and you will find how, how this mountain dies, how they do the cells, the cells of, 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 of people. Let me pray for you. And as I'm going to pray for you, believe and be faithful with your tithes and offering. Don't be called a thief. I told people, those who have donated, those people who have given their, 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 their seeds, I thank you. And if you have not given your seed, you want to give, we have still five days you can give. You have to plant a seed that would pin point of contact. You have to go, to, you can donate on uh, email, or you can drop a check, or you can bring it wherever you want, the way you want. I don't ask you so much. Donate something. So I, I appreciate those who have given, and thank you. God bless you so much. Let me pray for you, so that you are... Uh, and, and God can answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you, if you want to give your life to Jesus, let me pray for you. If you backslide, you want to come back to Jesus, I pray. let me pray for you. You follow me like that. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Forgive my sins. I am a sinner. Lord, forgive me. Write my book. Write my name in your book. In your living book in jesus name just when you ask jesus to forgive you jesus is forgiving you let me pray for you lord i thank you for this person who has given his life or her life to you jesus thank you so much to have accepted him or her to you jesus i thank you i give you all the glory in jesus name i pray amen let me pray for you hallelujah thank you you are a, you are a child of god if you backslide if you are not been Walking the way Jesus wants, you have been saved. You been you have been uh, accepted. Your name is written in the book of the living. You have became automatically citizen of, of God. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, God. I pray, oh God, my Father, anything done against the life of this woman or this man, the life of your the, in in your life under demonic anointed be nullified by the blood of jesus father in the name of jesus christ i come before you and i pray god my father anything done against your life in demonic anointing and in demonic anointing the tongue that is anointed satanic anointing against your life i command them to be nullified in the name of jesus i Pick them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anything that is as done in darkness that you are not aware by witches, by, by evil people, by satanic anointed, let them be nullified and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You armor of the Almighty God, smash every evil altar elected against your life in the name of Jesus. You God Almighty, you God Almighty, hammer down, smash everything that enemy has planted in this person, in this man, in your life, in Jesus' name. Every evil priest mm. ministering against you at an evil altar, 
receive the sword of God in the name of Jesus. Any evil priest, any witch doctor, anybody has hired to curse you, anywhere, this wicked, evil priest ministering against you, speaking evil, calling your name, let the, let the fire of God de cons, uh, destroy them in Jesus' name. Let the sword of God come upon them and destroy them. I am praying right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to the altar of the wicked and I break those altars in the name of Jesus. Whenever they are calling your name in any altar, evil altars, I break you in the name of Jesus. I break you in the name of Jesus. I break every evil altar against your life. Every satanic priest ministering against your life at an evil altar, where they are putting the altar calling your name, I am now taking the authority to break that altars. I break them in the name of Jesus. I command every demon that is living in your body, that is saying that is his temple, that is his house. I command them to get out right now in Jesus' name. Any stubborn demon that is claiming ownership in your body, claiming that that is his body, that is his temple, I set fire in the name of Jesus. I set fire of God to burn it to ashes in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring any sickness, anyone who is having sickness, pain, anywhere, in the head, in the throat, in the back, in the chest, in the liver, in the heart, in the sty, anywhere, I bring the word of the living God, the blood of Jesus, to heal them in Jesus' name. I pray healing wing of Jesus, the wing, healing wing, flow into the life of these people and let them be totally healed in Jesus' name. Anyone who is looking for a better job, who is looking for promotion, maybe you have been sitting, you have been working, you have never been promoted. I am praying for you. You will be surprised. You will get a surprise of promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that promotion come to you, to you. Wherever they are, your boss is going to give you a promotion. Whether you went to school or no, the promotion comes from God. The promotion does not come from the West, does not come from, from the East. It comes from God. God is going to bring money into your hand that you didn't work for. Father, I pray, transfer the wealth of the Gentile into the hands of your people. Those people who are called by your name, let the, the money of the wicked start jumping to their doors, start jumping to their hands. That is the word which says they will, they will eat what they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't plan. They will be the head and not the tail. They will be lender nations. You, you will even pull their banks in the name of Jesus. The God is going to raise a standard of very high to bless you. As God is coming to bless your doors, to bless you, let him become a God and let the man become a liar. Let the devil become a liar in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your word. I give you all the glory and I thank you and I bless your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Those who want me to pray for them, don't go away. Just call me next day. Uh, five minutes, ten minutes. Meanwhile, I want to pray for Sister Seraph Sophia. Sophia? My sister Sophia? Hello, sister? Okay. Sophia. Okay, she, might, she, she, she should call me in the next five minutes. Uh, if anybody wants for me to pray for her or to pray for you, call me after this in the next five minutes. Call this number 647-608-5207. Call this number. I will pray for you the next five minutes. God bless you so much. You take care. See you tomorrow at the same time. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye.